we said in favor of failure. Take the defeat of progressives on the left by Rob Ford in Toronto's last election. It led to their considerable success in the battle against Ford's budget. He was elected, I think, because taxes kept rising while services declined, and if you complained, you were ignored, or Mayor Miller whined about uh, feeling unappreciated. So people voted for the guy who voiced their sense of how unfair that was, Rob Ford. But he took it as support for his own vision of Toronto, based almost totally on cops, parking, and garbage collection. Hence his attacks on libraries, swimming pools, and the arts. When citizens on all sides saw that, they said, hold on. Margaret Atwood became the honorary anti-mayor. The poor demoralized progressives on council noticed, perked up, and we got a revitalized opposition. The next step for the Ford vision of Toronto is smashing the unions and forcing them onto picket lines. We'll see if that has the same bracing effect on the left and helps them smarten up. Of course, if they won the election, they wouldn't have had, a, had to beat back the Ford budget. But then they would never have received the invaluable, instructive kick in the ass that their failure gave them. For the Star.com, I'm Rick Salutin.